shuttle races. Let me show you some combinations of shuttle races. Layla and Maisie, can you please stand here? One behind, oh, in fact, let's go uh, on the baseline. So one behind the other on the baseline. Mia, can you please go with the boys? And then Grace on the, uh, on the halfway line, please. You're gonna go with the boys, all right? Jack, can you stand behind Mia? And then Drew, halfway. Halfway, no. Uh, Grace, pass wall down. All right, so a traditional shuttle race. Now you're gonna keep racing until, keep racing until you get back to your original spot. If you're going this way, left hand. If you're going down this way, right hand. Ready, set, go. Left hand, sprint dribble, left hand, sprint dribble. Your other left hand, Mia. Freeze. So now I understand they're not sure what a shuttle race is. Great, I know now. Once you get to this side, you give it to your teammate. Then your teammate goes. But you're coming down right-handed, come down. Now, once you get here, you give it to your teammate. And now, your teammates are being left-handed. Ready? And we're gonna keep going till you get back to your original position. All right, go. Good. Now, not very challenging, but I'm about to speak about a couple teaching points that are quite important. Is that your original spot, Mia? Stop! Is that your original spot? Then you stop. All right, now, I need to make it challenging, so I'm gonna change some rules. Now, here's your rule. You've gotta try and get from the baseline to halfway in three dribbles or less. No, that's very hard, actually. Four dribbles or less. From there to here, in four dribbles or less. Exact same race. Left hand up, right hand back to the halfway, still the exact same race. Both feet behind the baseline, young lady. Ready, set, go. Two, three, four. Good girl, Layla, quick. So what I'm trying to extract out of that rule is are they being efficient with each speed dribble? So if you watch each kid, I know the answer, but I'm not gonna give them the answer. I'm trying to get them to figure out. It's called, ex it's called uh, exploration learning. I'm just doing it by changing the rules. Now, you tell me, what did you do to make sure you dribbled less between the baseline and halfway? Mia, say it louder. Ah, she said push a ball further out in front of her. Another answer, Layla. Bigger steps, they're figuring it out for themselves. Any other answers? Higher dribbles, bingo, right on the muddy. Yeah, these kids are already in the encyclopedia of basketball. I didn't need to force any knowledge down their throat. Now, coaches, another deal to speed dribbling is being able to see. So here's the deal. The teammates on the other side, you have an important job. While your partner is dribbling, you're gonna stick up your hands like this to say, I wanna pass. Layla, demonstrate for me. If you see this, you're gonna jump stop. Then you're gonna chest pass the rest of the way, follow the ball. Maisie, you're gonna do the same thing for me. Ready? Then I'll follow behind her. So now I'm just working on my eyes on the speed dribble. Uh, Lainey, uh, uh, my, uh, Lainey? Lila, ah, oh, crikey, something L. Ready, set, Let, I said set, not go. Left hand up, right hand back. Remember your jobs. Drew, did you hear me by the way? Go. Good, show your hands at any time. Good. Good. Now, while they're doing this drill, I'm just watching their jump stops. Because at the end of the day, I want them to be efficient. Now, you guys come close. You guys come close in front of the coaches. But like make a U shape so the coaches can hear as well. Quickly, quickly. All right, so you tell me, how can you do an efficient jump stop? Are you gonna do a big jump or a small jump? 
And what part of your foot are you going to land on? Your whole foot, your toes, or your heel? Whole foot, you're going to go like that? Who thinks different? No. You think toes? Yeah. Now I want you to do experiments on your jump stops. All right, try one with your whole foot, try one with your heel, and then try one onto your toes, and then see what happens. I know the answer, but I'm not going to give it to them. All right, back to your spots. Exact same thing. Now I'm just encouraging experimentation. Go! Left hand on the way up, Mia. Now that was still a big jump. Still a big jump, Layla. Small jumps. Oh, well done, Grace. Good girl. But that's exactly what we're looking for. Like, kids can just be as creative as possible. There'll even be a kid here who'll do it right away, and then they've got to throw a pass from halfway to the baseline. All right, you tell me, effective jump stop. Say that again. Whole foot? Flat foot. What else? I can't hear you, Drew. The whole foot. The whole foot. She said the exact same thing. The secret to a jump stop. It is whole foot, but heel first. It is whole foot, but heel first. Boom. So we go tiny jump, like you're jumping over a newspaper, and then you go heel, toe. So it's a quick and quiet landing. Boom. And then you've got to stay low and get low. All right? So now this time, while you dribble and you sprint dribble, these teammates are going to stick up numbers on their hands and you've got to call it out nice and loud. Okay? Ready. Set. Get ready to stick up some numbers. Go! One. Now I've adjusted the rule to the game and I'm just developing their ability to keep their eyes up the whole way. And if you just watch Maisie the whole time, she just went 14 meters, just completely fixed on a partner. And I didn't have to yell at her once to say, keep your eyes up Maisie, keep your eyes up. All right. And freeze. Give each other a high five, job well done. All right. Uh, can anyone poke holes so far? Any questions at all? Curiosity. I'm going to show you a couple other combinations to this game to make it a little bit more challenging. Question later. Now, with the sprint dribble, the sprint dribble is fine, but there's no defense here. So it's not very realistic. So now I'm going to adjust the exact same game, but put a defender in the middle. All right? Uh, Layla, you're standing there. Maisie, defend her. Now, here's what you're going to do, Layla. You've got to try and dribble all the way to Grace and then give her the basketball. And the whole deal now is you're trying to beat Maisie using your dribbles. Okay? Once you get to Grace, show me that example. Maisie, you're just going to defend her. If you steal the ball, you just give it back to her. All right. And freeze. Once you hand it over, the person that just dribbled is now the defense. All right. And then Grace, you're dribbling against her. Ready, set, go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Just Grace trying to figure out how to beat her play with a sprint dribble. Now, there's something interesting that the kids are doing. And I, and I want you to see whether you can find it. But the, the first two girls did it right away. So keep your eyes on that. All right. Uh, Mia, you're going to be uh, against Jack. Ready? And when you guys get up there, and once you get up there, you're just going to come here, switch jobs, and go back. All right. Ready, set. All groups get set. Go. Good. Good. So it's still the exact same drill, but now we've just changed a couple constraints. Good. Keep going. Good, Layla. And 
Freeze, freeze, freeze. Coaches, did anyone see it? Any thoughts? Feet coming together. One, what else? Into the defense, yeah, interesting. Another one, eyes. Like we just did an eye drill, but now that there's defense, a couple girls are freaking out and trying to control their ball by having their eyes down. So here's another element we can add. Uh, can I please have a pair of one basketball, please? Grace Ball. Catch. Uh, one defender on her. Bianca, if you steal it, just give it back to her. All right? Now, Grace, your job. You're going to stick up numbers on your hands. Layla, your job. You're trying to beat Bianca and call out the numbers on Grace's hands. Ooh. You reckon you could do it? Well, you're brave enough to try. Let's try. Ready, set, go. Ah, oh, she did it. Keep going. Keep going, good. She's fumbling and she's losing the ball, but you know what? She's got a smile on her face because the, the problem she's solving, problem she's solving is that she's reading the defense past her own defender. So we're teaching her how to cross the road and not get a high five from a bus. Ready? When you're ready. All right, last demonstration. Me, uh, Drew, who's your defender? Mia, defend him. And then, what's your name again? Tara. Tara, go defend uh, Trinity. Now. All right. The people on the other side, remember, you're holding up numbers. Holding up numbers. Mia, go and defend Drew. Ready, set, go. Good. Good. Well done, Layla. Well done, Layla. Good. Now Trinity, Trinity, you've got to try and dribble all the way to her and then give her the ball. Ready? Once you get it, then you're going to dribble against Trinity. And freeze. Now once you're here, you're going to defend her now. Okay? And then while you dribble up, Olivia's going to hold up numbers. Olivia, Olivia. While she dribbles up, hold up numbers so she can count it out. Count out the numbers on her hand. And now, once you get there, switch over. Good. Now, you are the dribbler defends Olivia. Good, good. Five, four, three, two, and freeze, freeze. Now, I'm going to make this drill way more competitive. All right? And, uh, You'll figure out how it's going to be competitive, right? Go back to your partners. You're still in groups of four. Grace, go over there, quick. Uh, Maisie, Bianca, out here. All right. Uh, Layla, feet apart. Uh, Bianca, no, Grace, feet apart. The whole point of this game is these two girls are going to compete, and the only way they score is if they bounce the ball through their partner's legs. Okay, so it's impossible to try and go. That's very far. That'll be very impressive if you did that. So what you're going to have to try to do is dribble all the way there and then pass it through. If you steal it, Maisie, then you're going to go the other way towards Layla. Okay, first girl to two points wins. Every goal is one. Ready? Ball in the middle. So now we're doing some competitive dribbling. Ready, set, go. Got to try and bounce it through your partner's legs. Good, good, try and figure it out, Maisie. Good girl, figure it out. Get it, go, Bianca. Quick, stop her. No, no, you let it go. Let it go. That's one. Ready, Maisie, you're still up. First girl to two. Ready, set, go. All right, you girls, spread out. Trinity, spread out. Uh, it's, uh, what's your name? Tara. Lila. Katana. Katana. Trinity out here. Mia versus Drew. On your marks. Olivia, move over. Feet apart, first girl. Ready, set, go. 
What's your name? Amber, I'm Jared, pleasure to meet you. Just stand here with your feet apart like that. And then your partner is gonna try and bounce the basketball through. Okay. Good, good. Drew, still keep going. It's first person to two points. Good, now Drew's ball, go Drew. Now it's competitive ball handling. And it's simulating very something very similar to a fast break. So if the ball handler gets past the defense, it's punish them and go score. All right. Are you all right, Katana? No break dancing allowed. Yeah, first to two points. Who's next? Ready, set. You okay, Drew? Sorry. These two for you two. Mia, done? That game was to two? All right, Jack versus uh, Amber. Then Mia down here. 15 more seconds. Layla, question. Oh my goodness, another person here. Where are they coming from? Basketball down. You join this group. Uh, it's uh, Charlotte, isn't it? Yeah. Over here. Good, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and freeze.